it's day six on our getaway. Of course, we started it with swimming. Today we are going deep into the earth with my mom. This is Natural Bridge Caverns. We are here at the caverns and we're going to go on a little adventure. I believe it's 180 feet below ground. So that'll be exciting. Mom's getting the tickets right now. Welcome to Natural Bridge. My name is Justin. I am going to be your tour guide today. Where's the bottom of the sea? Keep there. going. Just keep going down. This is the beginning of a very long hike. Stop right here. Woo! Look how pretty. The natural bridge. Time to head into the caverns. Yeah, hey, get out of the Texas heat. Discovers made it into the gate. Yeah, fortunately for us, I got double doors down here. We'll be taking. Yeah, we don't have to crawl through there today. I'm going to let our tour guide do most of the talking. So that's the drift stone that I have in this room. That was 
go into some blue zone. But if you look at the wall right here, it looks like someone's into that wall and it's coming out. That's called a cave curtain. Now, when that cave curtain finally is big enough, kind of like right there, and then for everyone back here, like right here, see how it's coming off that wall a little bit? That's called a cave curtain. Now, when cave curtain finally gets big enough and reaches the floor like this guy has, that is called a cave drapery. Somebody was in the home before. <laughs>
So we have to go in there and actually work on the lights. And somebody asked me one time, well, if we can't touch nothing, how are y'all touching it? Well, we wear gloves, long sleeve shirts, long pants, and we minimize any actual contact with our skin with any part of the cave. And that's how we do it. Even if you go on cave explorations, that's how they do it. I was going to ask, um, does that thing actually work as a slide, <clears throat> slide down? I would not encourage sliding down that. Surprisingly or not, if it, the formation looks smooth, it is not smooth. It is rough. It's like sandpaper. Like that one. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like that stuff. Yeah, they're really rough. Now <laughs> it's actually a lot steeper than it looks on camera. Mm-hmm. You like it? I don't take me to F off. It's like the moon. It's like the moon. It looks like the moon. Coral. It looks like the moon. I agree with that. There's a little hole right So the light is refracting off of it. This water is 50 degrees, pH balance is 26 and 7. It's actually been filtrated through the limestone, so it's perfectly safe to drink. Now, of course, you can't drink it here. Because <laughs> you might fall in and that'd be a really wet and cold tour after that. Now, the next part of our tour is actually going to take us by Grendel's Canyon. Grendel's Canyon is 207 feet deep. And it is a complete and utter muddy mess down there. <laughs> now, when our explorers got down there, they realized that and they said nothing but a monster would live down there. So they decided to name it after the Tell of Beowulf, the Grendel's monster. Pretty cool. So for us, we're not going that way. We're gonna be taking those 35 steps up into Emerald Lake Passage. Yes, way better than mud. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the next part of the book's kind of flat. So that works. But this is in the lake. Uh, hopefully it is pretty quick to describe it. I am. <laughs> sway to sway. <laughs> now. Actually, no blasting in there, just taking the rock out. All we did was put concrete lights in a trash can. That's about it. Dome. So it's called a breakout dome. Now, if you remember in Sherwood Force, how I talked about how water carved out the cavern, this one was actually a little bit different. So if you remember back in time, this thing was full of water. During that seismic activity time when we were having earthquakes, this room developed a lot of intersecting cracks or joints. And because of the water level, it had a buoyant force holding the ceiling up. Now, of course, that water level went down into the aquifer. And because of that, it weakened the ceiling. And we started to have collapse, layer by layer, piece by piece, until reaching stable layers. Now, if you look on my ceiling here, you can actually see the stable layers. And if you look and you see how there's a lot of calcium. the cardio. <laughs> I sure am. <sighs> I'm exhausted. We're all out of breath. below the surface of the earth right now. Yeah, we still got 85 more feet to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the cool thing is that ceiling above our heads is actually 55 feet thick. Wow. Yeah. Really thick. Now, of course, this room is called Hall of the Mountain King. So if you look at the shadow right up there, you can see the Mountain King. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to ruin it for everybody. A kid told me it looks like a gorilla holding a gun and I can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. I can. I see the lines. The lines to the right. His eyebrows. Light in cave development. So back behind there is another mile and a half of cavern. 
Now, if you're curious what's back there, we do adventure tours, and it'll take you another half mile back. Yeah, you get to crawl around, have a full cave experience. Now, if you're really interested in it, talk with the admissions. They have all the pricing and information, but it's a really fun tour. It takes about three to four hours. Who knows, maybe I'll be the one giving it to you. <laughs> now, the cool thing is, back exploration back there and found another 2,000 more feet of cave that we had no clue existed. And when they did that, they actually found more back guano about 7,500 years old. So that just goes to show, we don't know where the end of this cave is. We're still looking for it. It is somewhere. One or day maybe, we'll find it. Or maybe it's endless. If it's endless, we'll be looking for a very long time. <laughs> then we might have the longest cave in the world. Yeah, you will if you find out it's endless. Mm -hmm. And you might be searching for it. Very long journey. time, absolutely. Five feet from underground to get back to the top. <laughs> Woo. This was intense. Freedom! Thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.